Today we are talking about something small but mighty, vitamin B12. Its fancy scientific name is cobalamin, but let us just stick to B12. Think of B12 as a software in your smartphone that keeps all your apps running smoothly. Without it, things start to glitch and by things I mean your body. And unlike a smartphone, your body cannot just be rebooted. So it is better to ensure everything runs smoothly right from the start. Surprising fact is about half of people over 50 and most vegans might be low on vitamin B12. And that is a lot of people. The good news is fixing a deficiency is simple and affordable. But ignoring it can lead to some serious health issues. B12 is a water soluble vitamin meaning your body does not store it for long and you need to replenish it regularly. The catch your body cannot make it on its own. You have to outsource it. You will find it in animal based foods like meat, chicken, egg, fish and dairy meaning milk and milk products. For vegetarians who do not take milk regularly and for vegans this can be a problem. Sooner or later they may get a low battery sign. The daily recommended intake for adults is just 2.5 microgram a tiny amount which makes a huge impact. Vegetarians and vegans top the list because plant based foods do not naturally contain B12. As we age our stomach's ability to absorb B12 declines. Long term use of certain medications like antacids, acid suppressing drugs such as renatidine, pentaprazole and omeprazole, metformin, cholesteramine and even birth control pills can interfere with B12 absorption and put you at a higher risk of developing deficiency. Excessive alcohol drinkers be alert. Alcohol depletes your B12 levels. So yet another reason to say I will just have one. Certain medical conditions like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, pancreatic issues or gastric surgeries can also mess with your ability to absorb it. Lastly, there is a rare condition called pernicious anemia where stomach cannot produce enough intrinsic factor, a chemical crucial for B12 absorption. B12 is like a multitasking superstar in your body. It protects your nerves by keeping the coating around nerve cells healthy. Without it, you risk nerve damage. Convert a harmful substance called homocysteine into something harmless reducing the risk of heart attack, stroke or blood clots. It is vital for producing neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine which keep you focused and upbeat. It is essential for making healthy red blood cells. Without it you can develop anemia mean you will lose the natural glow of your face. B12 also influence melatonin production and pigmentation process in skin. A painful shiny tongue indicative of glossitis, mouth ulcers or cracks at corners of your mouth not a very happy sight, dark patches on the skin of knuckles, palms and soles, dark circles around eyes and even premature graying or hair loss could reflect underlying B12 deficiency. Neurological symptoms like tingling, numbness or burning sensation in your hands and feet, feeling fatigued, weak or struggling with mood changes like irritability or low mood. You could develop megaloblastic anemia where red blood cells grow too large to function properly. Perhaps fat is always bad. Symptoms include paleness, fatigue, shortness of breath and dizziness. Chronically low B12 levels raise homocysteine levels increasing the risk of heart attacks, strokes or blood clots in your blood vessels. 
in extreme cases prolonged deficiency can lead to irreversible nerve damage or even paralysis most labs do have b12 level test b12 levels are also often included in comprehensive lab packages normal parameters may vary with the lab usually levels below 200 picograms per ml indicate a deficiency while levels between 200 and 300 are borderline and should be addressed doctors may also order additional tests like methyl malonic acid or homocysteine levels for confirmation rarely anti intrinsic factor or anti parietal cell antibodies are tested to rule out pernicious anemia a rare disorder make sure you are getting sufficient vitamin b12 through your food if you are vegetarian or vegan focus on fortified foods or consider taking a supplement regularly high risk groups like older adults or long term medication users should think of regular b12 supplementation through pills if you already have a deficiency don't worry it is easy to fix depending on how severe it is treatment include high dose of b12 in the form of tablets or injection for some time followed by a maintenance dose most symptoms are reversible if caught early but don't delay so that is all for today i hope you found this helpful if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe got questions or suggestions drop them in the comments i would love to hear from you see you in the next video till then take care